I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you, all the sacrifice you have been making. May the Lord God of heaven reward every one of you in the precious name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I said, praise the Lord. And I also want to thank God for everyone who has been on the platform. The reason why I'm thanking God for your life is because your growth is our growth. So I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to minister to you, whether you watch live or you record and then watch later, whatever way, I'd like to thank God for your life. And I believe those precious word of God you have received in the last one year, they will speak volume of testimony for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, having thank God, we've been thanking God at the end of this year, having thanked God, it is now time to begin to prepare ourselves to take delivery of the future. Now, you don't pick a future. You don't select a future. As a child of God, we take a delivery of it. There is a spiritual preparation that we put in place to help us to take delivery of the future. And a wise man said, you don't wish a future, you create it. So we must begin now, if you have not started, to start taking delivery of your own 2022. You must start now to begin to spiritually prepare yourself to take your own 2022. You must begin to receive it now from the Lord. Very important. And one of the ways through which God communicates the future or making a delivery of the future to believer is through vision. True vision. What is vision? Vision is the unfolding of the future to an individual. It is a personal revelation of the future to an, to, to, to an individual. It is God unfolding his plan. His plan, his purpose that he has for you, it is him unfolding it to you on a personal level. Why is vision important? Vision is important because it's the life wire of any man. To live without vision, according to Proverbs 29 and verse 18, is to live a meaningless life. In Proverbs 29 and verse 18, it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. It says, But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So, vision is the life wire of any believer. And areas of our life we don't have a vision is an area that we perish. So, it is time to begin to lay hold now 
on what the future holds for you via vision. Very important. It is time now we begin to create a solemn feast. It is now time we begin to create a spiritual mountain around us where we can stand to see far. What oxygen is to a man's life is what vision is to our life in every season. And therefore it is time now we begin to take the delivery of the future 2022, for example, via a vision from the Lord. Because we have been told in Proverbs that if we don't have vision for 2022, for example, or for future of anything, he said the people will perish. We will perish. We will merely exist. We will not do anything notable. We become a victim of a season that we don't have a vision for. Therefore, it is time now to begin to seek the face of God, to receive the vision for 2022, the year coming ahead. Some people have started in October, some have started in November, but it's never too late. You must personally take a delivery of the future from God. And how do we do this? How do we do this? Habakkuk said, Habakkuk chapter 2. Habakkuk chapter 2. I read from verse 1. He said, I will stand upon my watch. I won't send anybody. And set me upon the tower. And I will watch to see. You see that? I will watch to see what he will say to me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, make it plain upon the tables that he may run that read it. Verse 3 says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end he shall speak. because it will come surely it will not tarry praise the Lord I said praise the Lord so what God is saying to us at this hour is that each of us needs to stand we need to take a stand each of us we need to take a stand and where we are to stand is upon our watch our watch there are different watch but we need to stand upon our watch our own chosen watch and set ourselves upon a tower you know what tower does tower enable you to see far you remember you remember the man said i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and i will watch to see what he will say to me and what I shall answer when I am reproved. There are spiritual towers and there are spiritual watch that we ought to create at this season. And I will mention a few. One of the tower where we can set ourselves now is the tower 
of prayer for direction. Prayer is one of the towers that enable us to receive a vision. You remember David, he never take anything for granted. He never assumed anything. David fought the Philistines, he defeated them. But when he needed to fight again, he went before the Lord. He didn't say, these are the people I beat the other day, and I will beat them again, I will conquer them again. He went before the Lord and asked God, shall I go after them? What David was doing there was securing a vision for the battle. And in the process, God told him, no, this time around, you are not going to pursue them like the other time. This and this is what you will do. What leakage is does in exam is what vision does to the future. You remember in those days when you were in school, there's always a rumor that somebody has seen leakage that is the, he has access to the exam before the day of writing the exam. And that enabled him to prepare. That's what vision is to our life. Vision leak the future to a believer. And therefore, a believer is able to make adequate preparation. A believer is able to have direction to the future. He does not guess into the future. We remember that was what guided Jesus. Jesus kept on saying, the people will come and suggest this and suggest that to Jesus. You will hear Jesus saying, my time has not come. How did he know his time has not come? He was very clear about his vision. You remember he was tempted to become a netly king. He ran away. Vision enable you to know what to stand for and what to run away from. So that the year ahead will not be jack of all trade and master of none. We will not be running our life on a guest walk. That's why we need to begin to set ourselves upon our towers, such tower as tower of prayer. And begin to pray directional prayer. And begin to pray a prayer of inquiry, like the one David prayed. Because the greatest way to create, a, the greatest way to take hold of your future, is not just by prophecy; it is by creating it. So, as we are closing the year, if you have not started, I want you to begin to ask God. Lord, in prayer, what do you hold for me for 2022? Begin to take every issue of your life to, the to your tower and hear what God will say to you about that areas of life. Because one thing is sure, what God says will surely come to pass. He said, my counsel shall stand. God's cancer will prevail no matter the storm. So our victory over storms of life begins with us taking a delivery of the vision of God for our life. I will start upon my watch. Nobody will force you to stand. Nobody will stand on your behalf. It is a personal responsibility. You need to begin to go to the Lord right now in the remaining 11 days and begin to ask God, this area, that area, Lord, what are you saying about this? Lord, this is what I want to do. Some you say, go ahead. Some God may tell you it is not yet time. And at the end of the day, a compilation of these give you a roadmap to a successful 2022. And you know what he said? He said, and the Lord answered and said, write the vision. 
Make it plain upon the table. Understand it both in your heart and on the paper. That he may run that we did it. So it is vision that gives us motion. If your speed is slow in life, it is because your vision is not clear. We all know, those of us who drive, the brighter your light in the night, the faster you can drive successfully. And if your light is not strong, even though the engine of the car is strong, you discover an attempt to run, you may run into ditches. Clarity of vision is what but a distinctive life. I therefore want to encourage every one of us. It is time to begin to secure your future via a vision of the law. Begin to secure your future. Begin to secure your future. For there is a way that cement right unto a man, but thereafter is the way of death. Certain things you want to do now, they look glittery. They look like you have resources to do it. But you need to stand on a spiritual tower to see the end of that journey. I was reading yesterday about the man called Lot. When he chose Sodom and Gomorrah, when he chose that direction, the Bible says it was like a watered garden. He never knew there is going to be a destruction because he was looking at it from physical side. But little does he know that it was just a disaster. But when it came to Abraham, the Bible says, and Abraham lifted up his eyes. It is time for us to begin to lift up our eyes unto the Lord and begin to pray a prayer of direction and begin to pray a prayer of inquiry. Not everything we think we can do, we can really do. It is in vision that we see clearly what the future holds. I therefore want to challenge every one of us, begin to pray a prayer of inquiry, asking God, Yes, Lord, I want to build next year. What are you saying? He said, I will hear what he will say. Because what he says is your victory. What he says is what compelled him to be with you. It is time to start praying a prayer of inquiry. It is time to start asking God questions about 2022. It is time to start drawing up plan and present it before God and seek for his approval. And as we do that, I tell you, you will have a hitch free 2022 in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be doing trial and error. You will be so certain, so your energy will be directional. You will not go into a year ahead by guessing. I pray for everyone online this morning that as you go before the Lord, the Lord will cause you to, ha to, have, to, ha to have access to his glorious voice. The Lord will open your eyes and show you great and mighty things. Because those are the things that God will be doing. Remember Jeremiah? He said, call upon me. And I will answer you. So only call and deserve an answer. And I will show you great and mighty things. I want to pray for everyone that this hour will not be lazy. Amen. This is the foundation of the year 2022. I you know the Bible says, if the foundation be faulty, what can a righteous man do? This is the foundation that we are laying right now by knowing the mind of God concerning the year ahead. I therefore challenge every one of us. We have to be intentional in this. Somebody say, how will I hear God? How come you hear the devil? <coughs> how come you hear the devil? 
How come you hear the devil? How come something scare you? That voice that scare you sometimes is the voice of the devil. The Bible says God will speak to his people. Jesus said, my sheep knoweth my voice. The voice you are not supposed to hear is the one you are actually hearing. He said, the voice of strangers that they will not hear. As a child of God, we all have access to his voice. Have faith. And then you will see God speaking to you. And you know when God speaks, his resources flow along his voice. You will not be stranded in the year to come. In the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be stranded in the year to come. You will succeed. You will have major breakthrough. But the journey begins at each and every one of us securing the vision of God for our life. He said, after you have seen it, he said, he may tarry. You see that, you see now, he may tarry, but have assurance that he will come. He said, it will not lie. It will surely come. So vision is our heavenly assurance of a greater future to come. Our heavenly assurance of a greater future to come. And you know, assurance is key in waiting for something to come. If you see a vision, then you have assurance that it will come. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace. I decree that we will not be lazy around in the remaining 11 days. We we'll begin to ask God intelligible questions about the future. We will spiritually position ourselves to receive from the Lord. One of the towers is the tower of praise, worship, and thanksgiving. One of the tower that you stand on is the tower of his word. You remember Jesus entered into the, into the temple and it was delivered unto him, the book of Isaiah, and he found the place where it was written. So prayer is one of the tower where we stand now. Praise, thanksgiving, and worship is also another tower. Another tower where you stand is the tower of his word. This is the time to read scripture. And of course, it's not limited to that. Tower of meditation, taking a walk in a garden. It's also a tower. Going into meditation. It's also a tower. I believe God will guide you with this few tower I have shown. And as you hear, remember, you are not hearing your own voice. So it may not look like you because it is your future to come. Endeavor to, to, to write it up. Endeavor to note it in a book so that when it begins to happen, you will not be confused. The Lord bless you. The Lord prosper you. The Lord grant you the desire of your heart. I pray for clarity of your visions and I pray the heaven over you remain open. You will hear his voice clear and loud. The year ahead, God will not leave you stranded. Amen. He will communicate it to you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be carried away by the festivity. I've make sure you allotted some time whereby you can stand on your tower and hear and see. Those are two edges word that will not let the devil confuse you. It is well with your soul. In case you are on this program and you are not born again, you don't know Jesus yet as your Lord and your Savior, I would like to pray for you right now. As I am inviting you to receive Jesus into your life. You need Jesus to go to the year ahead. It will make a big difference in your life. If you are ready I'm also ready to pray this prayer with you. Say after me, Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you for your word that has come to me. I am a sinner. 
But today I call upon you. Jesus, forgive me my sin and my trespasses. I believe in my heart that you die and rose from the grave for the atonement of my sin. I subscribe to the work of Calvary and I believe and confess this morning that you are the son of the living God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Amen. If you have prayed this prayer, look at the address that is displayed on your screen right now. That is my contact. You can get in touch with us. Also, the, the address of our churches are also displayed right now. But in case you are not close to any of these locations, you can go to a Bible-believing church and let them know what you have done online and you'll be guided accordingly. The Lord bless you. The Lord prosper you. I look forward to hear your testimony and I know it's going to be a great one. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. For the rest of us, let's worship the Lord with our substance. Lift up your offering right now, wherever you are. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for that which you have done. Thank you for giving us opportunity to see a new week. Thank you for bringing us to the end of this year. Thank you for preserving our life. Thank you for your continued hiding us with your power. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the year ahead. We know what it holds already. Because in your part is from everlasting to everlasting greatness. Thank you, Lord, because the greater year is coming. Thank you for how you have enabled us to worship you with our substance. We are among the people that have returned and remember you and worship you with our seed. Thank you for always multiplying the seed that we have sown. Your name be glorified. Thank you, Lord. Accept our offering. Use it for the advancement of your kingdom. And in return, bless every giver. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Make sure you are connecting every day to morning glory, voice of restoration, morning glory service. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. You must keep your spirit alive. You must not be carried away by this festivity time. Enjoy yourself, but don't attempt to take holiday on God. It is very dangerous. Praise God. Till I come your way on Wednesday, God bless you. And may God grant your tower a blessed voice of his. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Be blessed. Of the goodness of God.